Well, hey everybody, it's time to cook. How about that? Welcome to... Hey, we didn't bring any menagerie out tonight. Uh, well, I guess we'll just be zooless tonight, won't we? <laughs> How about that for a Cassie word? <laughs> zooless. <laughs> That's so funny. I crack myself up sometimes. So anyway, welcome. Well, <laughs> welcome to cooking with Nene and Murray. <laughs> this is what you, Murray. Hey, watch it. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> Murray, you're silly. Okay. What are we cooking tonight? Well, Murray. <laughs> Say. What are we cooking tonight? Say! <laughs> I can't! You're gonna get me tickled and it's gonna be over. Okay? All right. So stop. Alright, now get serious. Because if you don't stop laughing, you'll be crying here in a minute. That's right. Alright, so anyway, we're making Brenner tonight, which is breakfast dinner. And it's gonna be some pig nuggets. Everybody's going, what's a pig nugget? Well, it's pork tenderloin cut up. Dredged in buttermilk, was soaked in buttermilk, dredged in flour, fried up in some Crisco. Yes. Yeah. Kind of like a big chicken nugget, but pork. Yeah. And then Nathan's going to help me attempt She's to make, make my first biscuits. Now, I, I say my first. It's been, I've made a pan of, a pan of biscuits, and that was about. That's, that's some wok biscuits. <laughs> The doll didn't even, wasn't even interested in it. So, yeah. So, after that, I pretty much gave up my biscuit making career until I met Nathan. And he's going to help me make biscuits tonight. That's pretty scary. And we have gravy. Going to teach you how to make biscuits. Going to teach her how to make biscuits. But just because I'm learning doesn't mean I will be cooking them on a regular basis. Just wanted to clear that up right away. So, there you go. And, and don't forget... This episode of Cooking with Uh-uh. Nay Nay and Murray <laughs> is brought to you by the K Vlogs coming. So, so, so you didn't get me, because I seen it laying there. Anyway, anyway check us out, Cake Vlogs and Company. So and, and to finish, we're going to be making um cheese grits too. I'm sorry, I gotta get us going here so you can watch the comments. Is that us? Yeah, there we go. And, um, so there we go. All right, sorry, y'all. Got distracted. Randall said, get serious. Hey, you don't tell me what to do just because you're my brother-in-law. Anyway, so yeah, so let's do get serious. How's that? Oh, and speaking of Randall as my brother-in-law, y'all run right on over to Gardening with Randall. Man, he's had some uh, good response, and everybody yeah. posting their picture. Pretty stuff too. Really beautiful flowers. And I'm a little, I'm a little, a little jealous. Oh. Uh, Ain't nobody posting their biscuits and. Oh, cooking. daggummit! I hey, forgot. forgot. Forget about this. Post your, post your, your, anything you cook, whatever. Take a picture, post it. Hey, and don't forget, we're giving, doing a big giveaway tonight. Woo, law. We're doing a big giveaway. It's going to. It's, we're getting some. Some aprons made, but they're royal blue. You want to grab one of them real quick? Huh? Those aprons. Yeah, I will. There's one right here. How uh, about that? And uh, we're having cooking with Nene and Murray spring printed on there. And uh, we're going we're gonna to sign. We're going to sign them. They're going to be signed editions. So How about uh, that? share tonight's <laughs> episode. Like us, share us, whatever, and uh, put. Shared in the uh, comments of this episode. We'll put your name in a hat and someone will be the lucky winner. Yeah, and the other portion that we came up with was if you have a friend from your Facebook uh, and you ask them to join, we'll add your name twice. How about that? And it might even get kind of crazy that we might even draw Two names. Right. We might. So, share, share, share. Share. All right. Now let's Okay. Let's, to... let's make a biscuit. 
All right, so what do I got to do first? I need three cups. <coughs> three cups. Three cups of sifted flour. And if you remember correctly, last time we were doing some sifting, we used this lovely little sifter, and it has, goes up to three cups on here. So you don't even have to use a measuring cup. Just pour it right into your little yeah. sifter. Yeah. And while I'm making biscuits, or trying to make biscuits, Nathan's going to go ahead and cut up his pork tenderloin so we can get that in the buttermilk, which is in this beautiful... Vaseline glass bowl, maybe? Is that what that is? So, J Dye bowl. So, um, he's going to work on that while I try to make a biscuit. So, here we go. We're getting our flour in there. Well, Nathan, how was your day? I'm trying to see how many people we got on. Lord. Of 17 people. Well, how about that? Is this the three? No, just fill it on. All the way up to that thing. Okay. And so we're using, guess what kind of flour we're using? I'm going to let y'all guess. White lily. Self rising. Self rising. All right, that's about good right there, don't you think? Yeah. You didn't even look. No, you need to. No. I think three could. Now get it on. I mean, you All put the way it over, to the top? You put it over the line, yeah. Oh, well, you didn't tell you me that one step over the line? It's still with that pretty full. So I'm filling I it said, all the way up to the top, yeah, basically. I mean, I thought, and see, I'm cutting these little uh, tenderloin up about one inch size. Uh, this is kind of like the size of a chicken nugget, but these are pig nuggets. They're pork, but we call them pig nuggets. Actually, you... Where did pig nuggets come from? I, I started cooking them at the fire station. That's where right. they came from. Speaking of, this is a funny story. <laughs> um, a Rip Byers. Who? Rip. Rip Myers. Byers. Byers. Dennis Byers. Dennis Byers. Lisa, she may be watching, but... Uh, he brought in some venison, a deer tenderloin. We was gonna cook it up one night, have biscuits and gravy. And uh, it's a little smaller in diam diameter than these pork ones. And it, we told Larry Bill. Who? Larry Bill. Larry Bill. B-E-A-L. Oh, I thought you meant B-I-L-L. -L. Um, that it was rattlesnake. But we didn't tell him until after he took a bite. And he got up from the table and he never came back. He didn't eat because we convinced him he was eating rattlesnake. Lord. But it was venison tenderloin. Anyway, Larry, I love you, brother. If you ever watch this, I love you. <laughs> you went through some heck on the fire department. <laughs> Did y'all just like just now, everybody he loved drove Larry. Him crazy. Everybody loved him. He stayed wet I more than he did wait. dry. Uh, all right. So anyway, I'm fixing to add, which we think, because Nathan doesn't really measure stuff. He said like a handful, but we're gonna try to do some measurements so that we can put that down for y'all. And, and we're using lard tonight. Lard. Pope. We had this big thing of lard left over from apple pies, so. Um, so I might as well use it up. My mamma, my grandmother, that's what everybody called her. Mrs. Mama, Cagle? Or Mrs. Cagle. My mother had to call her Mrs. Cagle. What did everybody else call her mamma or Miss Speak Alice up. or Speak Sister up. Alice or... But anyway, she always made lard biscuits. And they don't fluff up and get all fluffy like a Crisco biscuit does, but they're a little tougher. But boy, they sure are good. So, they, I bet they're flaky. I bet you're flaky. You're pretty flaky. You're flakier. All right, so what about my buttermilk? We gonna, this is mine right here, right? My yep. buttermilk? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I need to, okay, so I got my flour sifted. Got my two-thirds a cup of lard. We may end up using... Lard. We may end up using a little bit more, but we'll see as time goes. I'm, I got all the, the pig nuggets and they're swimming in the pool here, folks. Pig nuggets in the pool. Pig nuggets in the Butter pool. Buttermilk. All right. All right. So anyway, so 
I'm gonna, I've got my flour sifted here. Hold on. I gotta make my little moat, my little bowl, my little, little area here. I'm just kind of digging out a little area, a little hole in the middle of my flour so that I can pour my buttermilk into. Mama, and, mama, and her wooden dough bowl. She always just kept it all that, and that's she'd make the biscuits and leave flour, and she just add flour to it as she needed it. Well, so. there you go. Well, so I'm. Am I gonna put my lard in first? Yes. Oh, I thought I was gonna put in my buttermilk no. first. I don't want to use my fingers. I'm sorry. I probably end up having to, but right this minute I don't want to, cause it gets to be a big mess. Let's see what we got. Well, Twenty-one we got folks are watching. Well, hey everybody. I don't know who all's watching. Nathan's supposed to be watching the comments tonight, but as you can see, he's busy bossing me around. Ain't you? Uh huh. All right, so I got my, my got my lard down in there. I actually dropped that lard in that little hole I made, but I think that was really for the buttermilk. But I don't guess it really matters. Should I put the hole? You're to right, Randall. That's a good idea. We need a camera on the ceiling. Lord, we really gonna get all high tech, yeah. Anyway. All right, so I can let start. Me just, let me just. I'll you gonna show, show everybody? Are we gonna do this. action shot here? Yeah. See. All right, so here's my lard all up in here. Fixing to pour in some buttermilk. Now, I'm not going to put the whole two cups. I'm going to try like a cup, maybe. I'll tell you when. You, Nathan will tell us when. How about that? Okay. All right. Now, now just squeeze it up real good with your fingers. Oh, I am going to have to put my fingers. Just use, use one hand. There you go. That's cold. That buttermilk is cold. Squeeze your lard up real I'm good. I'm squeezing my lard. You mind your own lard. So yeah, so now we're getting it all kind of mixed in together. Probably going to have to add some more buttermilk to yeah. it. Because it's feeling... Because once you get it all squeezed up, then you kind of want to fold it and make it into a nice yeah, little Yeah, because look, we got so much flour yeah, still in there. To... So let's get some more buttermilk going in. You don't need more than that. Nathan, I know that. I think I'm gonna need all two cups no, of it. That's enough right there. You just act like you know what you're doing, don't you? I do. All right, so let's get down in here and get dirty with it. Down and dirty. Get that stuff mixed in. Shoo, I smell that buttermilk. Actually, right. it smells kind of like... a little doughy. We almost put too much in there. Yeah, so I think we're going to need to add no, some we'll flour. Just, we'll, we'll do it on the table. Are you sure? Yep. I think I've messed it up. I hadn't even got them made yet. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you tried to get me to do them yourself. And I said, no. I can make these biscuits. Huh. All right, so now what? I need to turn it out on the thing. Are you going to add me some flour to it? Where's that sifter at? Um, right over yonder. We're going to need the sifter a few times, so. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, I uh, messed maybe up. Maybe both. Maybe both. And, uh. Nathan to the rescue. Do it all. Just yeah. Sell it yeah. all. I'll need some for the gravy. Oh. I've got more. All, all right. right. Now dump her out. Just right in the yeah. middle of it? All right. Don't make a big old mess now. Oh, who's telling who about making a mess? I'm telling you. All right. Watch out for getting your sleeve all in the oh, it's all right. biscuit. Let's move this out of the way. Good night, that's a heavy bowl. All right. All right, let's just kind of start folding it over, flatten it out. Okay. My hands are sticking to it. All right, now fold it over. All right, how about I go this way? That's fine. All right. I got to turn this on. Turn that all on, and hey, turn that oven on too. So just keep doing that for a few minutes, turning it and flattening it. Press it out real good. 
Get it off your hands. Get that work back in. All right, now. All right, well, don't push them down too deep this time. All right. You can start cutting them out. I'm going to grease you. You grease that up for me. <gasps> Lord, we like to have buttermilk all mm -hmm. over the place. So I can just do like one in the middle? Yeah, try to get as many as you can out of there. Oh, okay, okay. I got you. So, yeah, and this right here is no fancy biscuit cutter. It is a 8-ounce pineapple, canned pineapple can. It's the perfect size to make a biscuit. And look. That actually turned out right pretty. And so, uh, don't forget the greasy pan. I use Crisco. That that lower it burn a little more than the Crisco will. But you want to put you a good little coat of Crisco on your baking sheet. All right. So I just plop it down there. I bet you're regretting having me make the biscuits now, aren't you? No. So, yeah. So, I think when we were talking about it earlier, about I think this will probably, this recipe here will make about, what, six, six or eight biscuits? Yeah. Right. Here we go. So, now, now I've kind of run out of room, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mash my mash, dough. Mash your dough back together. Back together. Kind of get it all conglomerated. Make sure you got some flyer up underneath it so don't stick to the board. Like that? Yeah. Hey, okay, you know, you gotta remember this is really kind of the first time for me on this. But, I bet you what, they're gonna be good. Alright. We'll cut out some more biscuits here. What you doing over there, Nathan? I'm just putting some flour in the dredge pan. Putting flour in the dredge pan. Oh, that's Grandmama's pan. Yeah, this was my mama's pan. There ain't no telling how many green beans Lord. were strung in this pan right here. Because she set up with this in her lap. Her green beans, she'd break them. And uh, that's what I remember this pan from most. Her, uh, All right, so beans. we just going to make six biscuits? Because actually just, we can make more. You're going to have to grease the rest of the pan, though. Don't uh, use that. No, give me... These biscuits can hug. Oh, let me hug you, baby. <laughs> All right. Right on. Cut up some more biscuits. I mean, it ain't like anybody's going to eat them besides me and you anyway. Well, I bet some of them neighbors of ours probably would eat a couple of them. What do you think? And that last one, Come on. make, just make a big old whole cake. A what? Whole cake. A whole cake? Whole. H W H O L E. Whole. A whole cake. cake. Like a big old ball? And then this, yep. You flatten it out. Lord, that's gonna be a big old biscuit. Yeah. I thought you were saying something else. Just slap that on there. Alright. Perfect. So can I wash my hands now? Yep, Thank you can. You. I'm, am I dismissed? I'm going to step off the camera for a minute myself. Lord, we can't have somebody being stepped off the camera. we got to have somebody on here all the time. Okay. If they'll get bored. Alright. Get on it, Nathan. We're going to... First, we're going to start with the, the grits. Going to get them going. And I know Randall... Keep telling me to wash the grits, but we ain't got time to wash the grits tonight. So. What? What? Why would you want to wash your grits? What does that do? Get the grit out of them. Lord, they're grits. This takes about the recipe calls for for water. Uh, I like to use milk in my grits. This makes them creamier, tastier. Plus, we're gonna be adding cheese to them and. Just, um, God, doesn't sound, that doesn't sound good at all, does it? Alright, so Nathan, what you got going? You got some milk in there? Did you put any water in at all? 
Um, I need some butter. And I'm just going to put What kind of butter? A stick of butter. Well. We got some. We do? I said if we got some. Lord, I think I'm going to have to go up. I don't think Look at there. We got a stick of butter. And what I usually do. Let me get the camera and come over here. Is, um, now when I made, when I cooked them at the fire station, I would, uh, You do what? I'd put a whole stick of butter, but I'd make a lot more grit. So I'm going to put about a half stick. You're going to do half a stick of butter. Yeah. Because we're not the fire station. Right. And, uh. So we got our little setup going here for the pig nuggets coming up. Also. And I'm using, uh, I'm just using these Jim Dandy instant grits or five minute grits. They're, they're pretty Jim Dandy. Yeah. They are pretty Jim. You're pretty Jim Dandy. And, uh. So, well, that's the boiling. Let's see if our. Oh. How's, our how's our stove going? What do we need to cook those biscuits on? About 350? Oh. Need to put them in the oven. There Got it go. on 450. 450. For about 10 to 15 minutes. Alrighty then. I'm gonna set it for 10. Okay, we'll check them then. Y'all, our poor dog. Did you hear that beep when he hit the timer? That scares him so bad, and I don't even know what to do about it. It's crazy. Every little beep freaks him out. He's upstairs hiding in the closet. Um, and mean? in my dredge, I just usually, um, you can do whatever. You can doctor it up however you want to. I just put some... Uh, salt. Put some salt. And? And pepper. Pepper. Put a good bit of pepper. That is a good bit of pepper. Oh, where's our... I guarantee. Our dash and pinch measurements. And this is some of our special friend, Dennis Martin. Oh, I've got your head cut off. His seasoning here. Just secret seasoning? And this is just, it, it's got seasoning all. Uh, probably some garlic powder, uh, black pepper. But this is really good. I could tell you all about it, but I'd have to... Then you'd have to delete the video? Yeah. So I'll put a little secret, our secret. But like I say, you, you can put whatever you want to in there. And I, I'm actually going to put um, a little cayenne. A little heat. Lord, oh, Lord. Lord. It's not open, is it? Here, give it here. I'll open it, and you can add, do the rest of the stuff. I bet this one isn't open either. Of it. I put a little cayenne in my dredge. And, and just a little paprika. And I need a fork. Gotcha. Or, yeah. A little paprika. Spatula. Scalp. And I'll just take the fork and I'll mix up the dredge. Like I say, you can doctor it up, you can put garlic powder in. I've even, in my buttermilk, put like um, hot sauce in if you like it spicy or um, put like Tabasco or. Uh, What's that other? Here's that, your water. Hot sauce, gone. Oh yeah. Um, I hot sauce. Yeah. Cajun hot sauce. All right, so we're good over here. I don't need to do anything. I can just get behind this camera. So, how do you know when your oil's hot? Yeah, no. It's hot. See, you told me to put, to well, put water put, in there and it <laughs> scalded about exploded me. you. So, so, when you dredge, if you watch all the cooking shows, you have a wet hand, dry hand, wet hand, dry hand. Lord. So, this is going to be my... Dry hand. No, my <laughs> wet hand. So, I'm just going to pick up a few of the pig nuggets, place them in the dredge. 
And then. Uh, okay, Martha. Water. I got flour all over my apron. Some in the bridge and, all right. All right. What can I do? Well, right. we'll put our grits. Put the grits in. It's boiling, so he's putting the grits in. We're stirring the grits. Have to turn them down now. All right, so what, what are they doing over there? Are they boiling heavy, hard, yeah. halfway? Got to kind of bring them back. I'll tell you what, that is the hottest oven. It gets hot so fast. And uh, just keep them stirred here for a minute. They just keep going. Do you need me to come stir while you're doing the nuggets? Yeah. All right. And uh, so we're gonna we're gonna dredge. I'm gonna start to add. Um, Lord, this stuff really is a boiling. I'm done to turn it down. Turn it down, Eagle. It is nice. Don't put it on low. That thing is really going to town. We might have us some burnt. We should have washed our grits. It's just what that's what the problem is. Didn't wash my grits. Anyway, we just lay these little pig nuggets. Right in this hot grease. Oh, I know what I'm gonna need to do in a minute is get you something to put mm -hmm. them on, aren't I? A little I, pan I can, or with some paper towels some. on it. Yeah, I'll take care of that. Let me just put these grits good and stirred. Let's kick it over this hot oven. All right, let me go get you a pan or a plate. I'm uh, finishing up this. Uh, this was an old firehouse standard here. Big nuggets, cheese grits, usually that's scrambled eggs, biscuits, right and gravy. You hear me? It's right uh -huh. here. Oh, we gotta make gravy too. Yeah, it won't take long to make gravy. All right. That's getting poppy. This actually looks kind of gravy-ish over here. Uh-huh. So what are we waiting for the grits? Are we waiting on those to start boiling or just... I mean, they're... Yeah, I mean, they're just... As long as they boil, if you want to get that cheese out, you can put about a half a bag of grated cheese in there. All right. All right, I got that. All right. I about got this pan full. So we're going to be cooking these. Just till they're golden brown. We'll let them cook on uh, each side for, you know, three to four minutes. They're golden brown. We'll flip them over. And, uh, and I'm going to add about, about four ounces of sharp cheddar cheese into these grits. I mean, Lord, who don't like cheese? And I know my northern friends, I think, I don't know, maybe some of the southern friends, too. I don't care for grits, but you just hadn't had Nathan's grits. That's right. That's the problem. Because you get them done up just right with plenty of butter and, and obviously with oh. some milk. Let me tell you another little thing. I made a grit casserole one night. Did I have that? Uh -huh. Oh, I thought I did. It was, oh Lord. But cook grits like this and... Uh, and I cooked bacon really, really crisp and chopped it up and um, put some egg in with it, cheese, and, uh, and then put it in a casserole dish. Yeah, just um, turn them off. And then baked it, you know, for like 15, 20 minutes. Great casserole. You cut it. It's like an instant bread. I mean, breakfast. You got bacon, egg. Instant brenner. Yeah. All right. So I'm actually gonna just kind of set those up there. 
off that eye. Boy, these are looking pretty tasty. Let's turn this light on inside and see what our biscuits are doing. They ain't doing much. They're still cooking. But you got that on 400? I don't think it was ready. No. I don't think the oven got to heating point yet, so it may take a little bit, be a little bit longer on those biscuits. Well, right. Right. So while you're doing that, I'm going to get us some plates ready. But I promise you, this is one, the little, like I can say, you don't have to, you don't have to um, do this for breakfast. You can do it for supper. And uh, well, you can add whatever you want to it. Um, I'm going to get Randall back over here and uh, another Brenner. He's going to make firehouse pancakes one night. So, um, look out. Watch yourself. Just um, be watching for that episode. Don't forget, like and share, put it in the comments to get into the drawing tomorrow. That's right. And suggest your friends to join us and we definitely will we'll put you in there twice. And Show them how creamy and just delicious. Walk, I'll just walk the camera over because it's easier. There goes the beefy beef. Okay. Look at these beautiful grits. I mean to tell you, stir that up one time, Nathan, for that time to see that. I mean, I love me some grits, y'all. I am definitely a good old southern girl when it comes to Brenna. Her breakfast. And then here we go with the nuggets. They're really they're getting all good and brown. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. That's going to be really, really good with that gravy and biscuit. Ooh, you can actually just do a biscuit. With one of those inside. Out of it. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Oh, these are good cold. Just uh, have some left over in the morning. I guess and, we're uh, having biscuits tomorrow morning too, huh? Come in around lunchtime to make you or for dinner. Just have you a pig nugget and biscuit sandwich. That's right. And then here I just use this regular... Just ragland. Ragland. Trisco pure vegetable oil. Kind of like regular cheese. That's right. What's that mean? That means the biscuits oh. are done, supposedly? Supposedly. They're not. But they sure are looking good. Alright, Neil. I cooked these on a Florida trip. We took the girls, and um, I guess the only grandchild we had at the time was MJ. MJ. And uh, was a four. Yeah, he was a little bit old. So I cooked pig nuggets, biscuits, and gravy down there. And uh, MJ liked us some chocolate milk. Oh my God, he drank chocolate milk like crazy to the and, point of. But he drank so much chocolate milk, he threw up it his whole breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> breakfast table. So, Allison says she can eat pig nuggets ever since then, but I bet. I don't know. She you could try it. Kind of like corn dogs and uh, combos, isn't it, Allison? <laughs> oh, my Lord. You are so silly. We, uh. Those are looking pretty good and crispy. Yes, they are. Kind of like you. I'm not crispy, I'm spicy. <laughs> now I'm really getting hungry. I really, I, I did eat earlier, but I mean, it was like way earlier and I knew that we were gonna be cooking this food tonight. So I'm about hungry. I'm getting a little hangry even. How about you? You hungry? I am hungry. I ain't ate nothing since this morning. Why you gotta do that? Painters. <laughs> These are painters. You got your painters. That's, what, that's my oregano. Well, I said oregano. Oh my goodness, that was pretty funny. Hey, I appreciate everybody that's played along this week. We'll do some more with the uh, gravy. Yeah. 
And the beans. And the beans. And we caused the run on beans at the store, if you've seen. We went to Kroger last night, and I'll be John Brown. We post something about beans, making you smart. And the beans were gone. Beans were gone, so hopefully there's a lot of people that's eating beans and start getting smart. Oh, I don't but, think there's enough beans for that. But, uh, Sorry. Anyway, that's the reason we're doing this, folks. This is a crazy, messed up world. And uh, yeah, we're just trying to bring some fun and silly, silly and just something. Laugh. And uh, if you're the praying kind, pray for this country. That's all I'm saying. Just pray for this country that yeah. God will intervene and God's will will be done. Not man's will, but God's will. So, uh, well, we mess everything up. Yeah, obviously. as you can see, man, pretty good at messing things up, all the way from the Garden of Eden until now. So, uh, that's the reason we're in the shape we're in. This thing called sin. But anyway, um, these are about to get ready here. Anybody? He says that he can hear a crying, making him hungry. I'll cook the rest of these up a little later. I'm going to cook this first batch, batch up <clears throat> and um, get to making the gravy. Yes, gravy up biscuits are, I, they are really rising up better than I thought they would. I thought they were going to be kind of flat and ugly. Yeah, these are, look at that, man. What you got going there? Let me let me get some camera action on that. Look at that right wow. there. Lord have mercy. So that's kind of how you can tell they're done when they're really brown like that, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Pretty brown. And I don't like that's I use buttermilk and, and flour. Some people double dip, double dredge. That's just yeah, yeah. It's just a waste of time and effort and money. And, uh, it's, so you just get the right amount of crust on there. It's not too much crust. I'm just going to turn that stove that off for a, minute. for a second. But that's what we're going to make our gravy. Yeah, we're going right? to, I'm going to drain the majority of this grease off. But what you going to put that in? Huh? You got something to put that in? I do. Okay. It's right here. Okay, well, I'm going to kind of hang right here. Don't look in my drawer there. It's nice. Don't look in your drawers. You're silly. All right, I'm not going to put that on camera in case you make a mess. In case I burn myself. Lord, don't even say that, Nathan Cagle. Oh, my God. All right, so, yeah, okay. How much? There's You're pouring off all the Yeah, grace. I mean, just probably, uh, it's probably... Maybe a quarter of a cup, and I need a paper towel. Okay, hold your horses. Coming right up. There you go. Wipe it down. Back over. Oh no. What? What do you mean, oh no? We're out of flour. No, do not even say it. We're out of milk. We're out of milk? No, we don't. Oh my milk. God! I got milk. You scared me. It's not. It's not whole milk, which you uh, really should use whole milk. But this, we'll get by with it. Lord, I thought we had milk. I used the whole quart. It took four and a half cups for that. Oh, for the grits. Grits. Well, Lord. Okay. Well, we're this back. is. Uh, Let me get back over here no, with you. Okay. okay. This is one of the hazards of uh, live TV. See, things happen to us, too, you know. We run out of milk. All right, here. You need I don't something. need this big old... Where's that? What you need, honey? Tell me what you need. I'll just use this bunch. Hold up. All right. All right, so now you're sifting your flour in there. Just sifting some flour. I, I leave the drippings in there, the, all the little crunchy things. Yeah, that's the best part. I've got... This oil is hot enough. You don't even need to turn the eye on yet. Put enough 
You just put them. What do you think you're doing in there? Like about a cup, maybe a no. cup, about a half a cup, maybe, or? You just want to get it. You can see the consistency of it right here. But you want to make sure all that flour is mixed up good with the with the oil. Yeah. I tell you what, my mouth is watering because it's been so long since I have had biscuits and gravy. And I always had a little salt. Oops, sorry y'all. I slipped. I didn't mean to jar the camera. A little and salt and some pepper. Yeah, because yeah, gravy. gravy ain't good unless she's got black pre pepper in it. A lot of black pepper in there. You just want to get it all mixed up good, get it all scraped off the bottom there. That's where all the good stuff is. Yeah, it is. And I'm going to turn my eye back on now. About to medium. And, um... To get it heated back up good. And then you're going to do your milk. Yeah, and put me some water okay. in that cup. Do you care how much? Just, Just enough? I mean, about a half way. I'm going to get this and we'll, uh, like I say, we don't, we don't drink whole milk around here. We just drink this so I mean, milk. you tell me when? But I use, I don't, not yet. So I'm just going to put all the That's milk. That's about a half a cup, probably, of milk, don't you think? But it, when I use whole milk, I probably use, I'll use a little more than that, probably a cup and a half. And uh, I'll let it thicken up. And I always let it thicken up when I thin it down the, the second time. I always use a little bit of water. To me, it makes the gravy creamier. If you um, use a little water after. And you'll, it won't take long, folks. Sorry. Oh, my gosh. It, won't, it don't take long with this stuff. It's great to set up like concrete if you ain't careful. Lord, I don't want concrete gravy. Hey, wait. There are some guys at the fire station make concrete. I'm telling you, you could have went out there and patched the, the driveway with it. I need to check on those biscuits. They're they getting get, there. Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to... Start thinning it up a little bit with some water. Yeah, just a little bit. And I'm gonna start turning this heat down. Mayonnaise, some gravy over there. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna turn it all the way down. Okay. And if it needs to be thinned out a little bit more, add you a little more water. Cause this pan's hot. But this bit, that's about the way I like my gravy. Yeah, good and thick. I like mine like that. Let's take a good close look at that. Do that one more time. Yeah, kind of Here. It's good Ooh, yeah. the camera. That and anyway, so uh, got that. I'm going to move. This Watch hot. that oil. oil. Where, where are we going now? Are we coming back over to the table? Yeah, I'm going to set them biscuits right here. Okay. Are they done? Yeah. Look at that. Look at them pretty <gasps> oh my cat heads there. I'm so excited. Them some of the prettiest biscuits. I am here to tell you, I just doubted myself. And look at my biscuits. Now you make biscuits every morning. No, I won't. <laughs> All right, let me get All this. Right. Oops. Let me fix you a plate, my dear. So well, that's, that's the kind of guy I am. You are a pretty stand-up fella, you know. I just think, I kind of need to know where you're going to get. Ooh, lard, it just lightened, I believe. I'm about scared. And I'm going to I'm probably sure you you a CBD open. treat. <laughs> hey, hot? Hey, hot as a biscuit. Oh, Lord, do you want me to make you a plate? Uh -huh. And Oh, big gravy. Look at that. Oh, I need to get us some napkins. Don't touch that pan, Nathan. You walk back over there. I'm picking the spoon, but... Uh, 
Why I mess up another utensil? You never say that when you're cooking it for just me and you. Well. Because when he cooks, I have to be the one to clean. And when I cook, which is very rarely, I have to be the one to clean. That don't sound right. That was some good, pretty Man, large biscuits they there. Are. Lord, that wow. is a big old plate full of food. They can't see it. We got too much stuff on this table. Some lard and some Jim Dandy grits. Let's move this Earl. Ooh, that is kind of hot. Out of the way. Where is your pot holders? Let's do this. Let's get that a little closer in. So let's just hurry up because I am hungry. Wonder you if have just about enough gravy for two biscuits. What I made. You can make as much gravy as you want. Just leave a little bit more oil. Add a little bit more flour and a little bit more milk. These grits. These grits. We have a frying pan about twice this size. I don't know if you're station. on camera. We had, a, we had a frying pan about twice that size at, at the fire station. And I'd make that full of gravy just about every morning. And, um. Man. Have them grits. They are delicious. It's very, very creamy. I've been waiting on these oh all week, these pig nuggets. Mm -hmm. I like to dip mine in a little gravy. Make you squeal. Mm -hmm. Ooh, is it hot? You burn your mouth. Mm -mm. Mm. Gosh, y'all ought to be here. I'm telling you, I got to. I got some good stuff right there. I'm telling you, I am. I got to try these biscuits. I know. I mean, Murray biscuits. They're probably not good, but they look good. I want to butter them. me one of these because. I'm gonna have to put me some, some jelly. I sogged them syrup. Ooh, no. Woo! I forgot all about that. You like you some of that. I, even though we made that bread with the sorghum syrup, I don't like sorghum syrup otherwise, but it's good mm. in that bread. I'll tell you what. Mm. Is it hot? Why do you have to step uh. off camera? I can go get you some wow. water. That'll burn the hide right off your tongue right there. That gravy's about like hot tar. <laughs> Once it sticks, it's there. <laughs> Look, my eyes is water. Are you okay? As you about to wet yourself? No, you I'm me? not. I'm not about to do anything. I think I just got dough all over my face. Wow, that is pretty good. Let me chase this pig nugget. Was that what was really hot? Was the pig nugget? No, it was the gravy that mm. hot. Mm. 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 These are really delicious. Mm. They are so good. Crispy. Mm. Juicy. I'm on them. I'm telling you what, folks. Got some good food right there. Some good eating. Can't eat like that all the time. I'm telling you. Just every now and then. Like every Thursday night. Which I've been loving. Now, what are you fixing it? I'm going to do a little. Oh, Lord, let me get the camera going for you. And this is the fine art right here, folks. Is I think y'all discussed this on one of the links or something about sorghum syrup or one of the threads. The fine art of getting just the right amount of butter and the right amount of sorghum syrup. And you Look at that golden deliciousness. You have that down pat, don't you? And that's probably just about enough. Then you just take that. Mash that up good. Mm -hmm. I may need a little bit more syrup. I ain't, I'm kind of out of practice here on my, my syrup butter ratio. Uh, that looks pretty good to me, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to try it anyway. All right, I'm going to put this camera down because I got food calling my name over there. And then 
way I always ate it, I just put, this way my daddy always what? ate biscuits, just put a little dab on it. How's that? <laughs> Is that delicious? Like Randall said, you put some of that on your forehead and your tongue will beat your brains out and get to it. Oh my goodness. That is... Mm, 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 mm. Fantastic. And those biscuits. Surprised you, didn't I? You it's been a, little, a minute. I think you got a little thing is, uh, anxious with the biscuits earlier because you didn't those think aren't to um, Those are fluffy for no. large. And I want y'all to... Mm. There's the hoe cake. Hoe cake, yeah, it is hoe cake. Not... <laughs> what you got, salt? Let me. I'll take a little bit of salt. That's one thing about grits, so they do need quite a bit of salt, and it's hard to 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 and, salt them up when you're cooking them. It's really more of a taste. What's really thing. good, kind of like eating bacon with a waffle, and you put your little bacon in your syrup, but you take this little pig nugget. All right, I'll try. Just, just try this. Lord, mm. I'll use mine. I don't know which is better, gravy or salt or syrup. Gravy. Yeah. Man. If you like salt and syrup, you'll like that, but I'd rather have the gravy. Tell you what, these are so good, honey. You did great. You good did job. great. Thanks. Double thumbs up. Mm-hmm. Share us. Lots. Share tonight's episode. Mm-hmm. All the way up to about 3.30 tomorrow afternoon. If you're watching it later on or watching the recording, share it. Mm -hmm. We'll put your name in a bucket. And look, you're going to get a fabulous, fabulous one first. First edition. First edition signed apron with cooking with Nene and Murray. Murray! <laughs> Happy cooking. So, we're glad you turned out tonight. I'm not gonna make you finish watching this eat like little hogs. How about that? Auction. I don't know. Auction stuff. Mm -hmm. Mary Jane, I get up on the auction stand. Huh. I'm over there auctioning, and all of a sudden, I hear somebody auctioning in my left ear. You sit up there all the time, you learn it. And she's over there auctioning the whole, you know, and I. I, get, the I, mic, get, I said, here, you want to do it? I get on it. Here, you want to do it? <laughs> when was, what, we had a little episode of that one time. Mm -hmm. What was that? Oh, I remember. You want to tell it? <laughs> I love you, baby. Ah, you got a biscuit in your mouth. But anyway, yeah. like us, share us. Hey, and... Make use of them. Pig nuggets. Yes, please, because they're delicious. And make sure to, if you do, we don't even care if it's what we made. Yeah. We want to see what you make. Put that on for us. For some of you like us, see us. Maybe. Yeah, and. We ain't afraid. We ain't afraid of nothing. I don't guess. I don't know. There's a couple of things I'm afraid of. Snakes. <laughs> Thanks. Probably. Um, well, and now I done lost my train of thought because you said snakes and I can't remember what I was going to say. But anyway. Oh, post your food. We want to see it. I've got another one I need to post. A girlfriend of mine made the watermelon sandwich. I, I've been meaning to post it and I'm sorry that I forgot, but I will get that tonight. I it's, kid you not. Show them the Marty it's Bun. Good. I'll show you some Marty Buns. <sighs> In my oregano. <laughs> Big Marty's seeded buns. These are a little firmer than loaf of bread. Yes. So put just some mayonnaise on both sides of it. Slice you some watermelon. Thin sliced watermelon. I'm telling you. It's good. I'm telling you, it's wouldn't, crazy. Wouldn't wouldn't lead you astray. I know he. I thought he was leading me astray. I really did think he was leading me astray that night. 
and thought I was going to hate it. And it was delicious. So, anyway. Yeah. In yeah. the words of Jane Castellos, Glennis, Bass, Gilliland, y'all be somebody. Come on. That's right. It means more than anything right now. Just be, be somebody. somebody. In the words of my dear father. I love you and don't you forget it. And we, we love, love you, you and don't you forget it. Ever. See you next Thursday night. Then we may no, take. No, no, we'll see you tomorrow night. Tomorrow because night. We're going to tell y'all who won. And then we'll see you next Thursday night. Then we may take off a couple of weeks. We may take we a might little vacation. We do something from remote or something. Yeah, we might. But yeah, well, do we know what we're doing next week? You got a teaser or anything mm -hmm. like that? We have no idea. No we idea. We never know what we're doing. But anyway, see you then. Appreciate everybody turning in. Like us, share us, Love win an apron. Yes. And make a pig nugget and enjoy it. Bye. Bye, y'all.